Hi, good afternoon everyone. I want to share to you this afternoon a video about uh, how to replace uh, brick pad on your disc brick, especially the cable type disc brick. Okay, we will start with the front wheel of the MTB. Okay, here we go. The tools needed for the repair is a piece of Allen rings like this or this one, folded Allen rings or with additional help of the file. Okay, we will start the front wheel of the MTB. MTB. Okay, it's the first this brick to be repaired. We will loosen the mounting Allen screw so that we can remove the worn out brick pad. I will let the camera go near here. This one. Okay, this one. It's better to watch. As you can see in this bit pad, the the inside is already uh, worn out, very thin already brick pad remains inside so we have to replace this one by pull out and remove book this removing this part okay this is the technique on how to remove this one the pin lock You will have to remove this pin to get the the old brick pad inside this one. Okay. Then if you can have pins removed, you post this one here. Okay. You can see the brick pad pop out here. Okay, use your plier to remove this one. Okay. 
This is the picture of the brick pad that was burned out very thin already. Almost the steel is looking. Go near to the uh, thin brick pad. And this is the spring that will hold the brick pad to its clearance between the this uh, rotating this this one rotating this okay we will get the parts and this is the replacement part here brick pad this brick pads Shimano okay we will remove this from the packing Okay, here we are about to open the button. This is the the part, the parts pack inside the Shimano packing. This one here. This one, okay. Very well symbol is okay. Okay. We have to piece each other, and in between the clearance, we have to put the spring. Spring, yes, this one, like this spring. This is the spring. Okay, we'll insert back to the uh, this brick. Here, here, this one. Okay, we will install the pin, retaining pin of the parts. With no retaining pin, this will be detached from the mounting here. And then after that, insert, inserting the pin, you have to bend this one, so that it will not uh, go out the location. This one also will bend this one. This is the new this brick pad inside the caliper. This brick caliper. You have to choose the Allen that will suit to this size. To in it will enable you to adjust because the brick pad is touching each other. The uh, this brick, this one, although this is the uh, this rotating this cannot enter in this area. You have to adjust this one in order to insert the this rotating this to the brick pad in between the brick pad 
Okay, here. We will turn the Allen screw to the left side. Here. Hmm. There's an opening found inside. Okay. You keep on turning uh, to the left side until the size of this can enter into the center. Okay. Keep on rotating. Okay. That is the adjustment. Okay. It's a, it seems that the area inside is bigger already compared to this the thickness of this this one so you can manage to assemble it in the mounting here mounting okay we will try okay this one after that you have to put the mounting allen screw okay. and the uh, other side also you will put the okay. okay you have to turn the allen screw so that it will tighten here In order to make the distance with each other, you have to side this area so that you can adjust in between the brick pad here. Okay. I think it's correct uh, repair because when we let the wheel turn around, no more noise that will touches the this this brick and the brick pad. I will demonstrate here. So it's okay. The repair was completely done on this. After we tighten, retighten this one and the other one here. So the next thing to do is to repair the rear wheel of this mountain bike. Come on, let's go to the rear wheel. Okay, this is the use brick pad and pin of the front wheel. I will put it here in the box for uh, a spear. Of, maybe we can use this in the future. Okay. And it's the new part, Siman, uh, this brick pad. You will use this for this. Okay, we will start. We will loosen this bolt here. This one.
Okay here, the allen screw was already pulled out from the thread, so we can remove the uh, this brick assembly here for the front wheel. Okay, let's do it here. We remove already, and we can, as you can see here, the clearance inside is very. Uh, take already and sometimes it cannot uh, it, it is not safety for us for running around with this mountain bike and the brake will not keep on uh, locking the uh, rotating this so here we will remove this one Using this file to remove the pin here as well. Pin here. Okay, the pin. The pin is here. Uh. Now the next part to be removed is the brick part. This one. The brick pad. This is the brick pad together with the spring. We'll push the inside and pull this upward. Okay. Okay. This is one. It's the one up part. The mountain bike. Uh, <coughs> this brick system. We'll get the new parts. In order to arrange first before you assemble, you have to hold first the spring. In the side is the brick pad, and the other side is the brick pad. Also, this one like this. Hmm. This is the loop one. The spring is inside. Here, the spring, the two brick pad. You have to push here, then insert to the this brick here. Push. Okay. When you can see the holes inside, you must have to make that it will in line with the the brick pad hole retaining hole retaining. For pin retaining and the spring must be in line so that you can insert the uh, pin lock here. This one you have to insert here. You have to insert here. Okay. Then push also there. Maybe there's a misalignment down there. Okay. okay. Okay, as you can see here, as you can see here, the the pin is entering now the in between hole there. Continue your fifty. This one. So the. 
Devin. Devin is uh, pushing through the next hole, so you have to you have to bend the end of the pin lock so that the brake pad and the spring will not be removed that is the purpose of the pin lock to lock the, uh, the parts inside okay this one we have to bend this the end of part of the pin lock here this one also Okay, as you can see here, the pin lock is already been okay, ready for adjustment and installation. Okay, here you, you will adjust the clearance, the clearance between the two brick pads. You have to adjust by turning this. Uh, adjustment to the left to the left here to the left okay as you can see the clearance here that will na now allow the this rotating this to insert here that's the time that you can install this this brick to the mounting okay it's already there okay we'll try Okay, it can fit already. So next is the installation of this Allen screw. Two Allen screw here for the this brick here. One for the upper and one for the lower. Here. One okay. Uh, check the clearance from the this brick to the mounting. Okay. Okay. And you are sure that is the clearance you have to repipe in here the lower allen screw repiping. Or you can use this one so that you can turn around here. See this? Okay. As upon you observe that the mounting is already locked, check the clearance within the this this brick and the brick pad it, it is touching because you have to situate that no more no touching of parts during running unless you will apply the brick in the hand brick or rear brick okay we will try to rotate the you know Okay, the sound seems that there was no touching of 
big part and the uh, rotating this so we will adjust lit lately if we can mount, fix this mounting here Okay. This one. 